done the review, uh, robot review on the BioLoid GP BioLoid Premium and the uh, Mini Darwin. So now we had uh, we having a Condo KHR3 from a Japanese robot here. So uh, let's see how is it different from the other robots and hope this will give you information if you are planning to buy a robot. So here we go. To start off with, there's a button here, power on. Okay, so it's quite neat. Okay, and this is the remote control. Normally, this uh, it doesn't come with this type of remote control without the square one, but um, here we go. So it turn on, and then we start walking. Okay, so the robot um, is connected. Inside there is a USB stick, and I think it uh, connects to the controller using that. And uh, the battery is inside here, so normally you would uh, pull this off. And there you will have the battery compartment inside. There's the battery. So it's a little bit different from the other robots I have seen. So let's see uh, how many servos it has. One, two, three, four, five. And there's a dummy, so five, six, seven, eight. So eight, uh, 16, and then 17 servos. All right. So let me put, the, put that back for now. So this like uh, aluminum, very nice and smooth, very well made. So when you buy this robot, it's come in a kit form and you have to um, put it together yourself unless you order it from a shop, which uh, specially put together for you okay so let's see what else it can do so we can if I do that it'll turn okay if I do that it'll turn so one the special things about the condo is when it walks it is very stable so I could even make it walk on different surfaces and it's not gonna fall down. okay so let's test to see how the condo do on the uh, different surfaces yep very smooth you could see there's some sort of gyro action mixing going on which will prevent it from falling down so that's very good now so what else do we have here so the wires are daisy chain as normal they're going all the way up so um, optionally you could add the, you could replace these dummy servos with extra servos you got one two three four five you could extra, add extra five extra servos but if you do that then you will have to um, either find different codes or you have to write your own motion code all right so let's see what else this robot can do it can do kicking okay kicking backwards all right and one thing I find it really cool is let's give me get a ball So we have a so we have a very big ball here and the robot is gonna pick it up and uh, you'll see. So press the button. Okay, this special action and I'm gonna press the button. Okay. Alright, so and I can also kick it I guess. So it's very stable. Uh, let's see, I think it's like uh, this. Okay, and also if you pick up the ball, it can do something too. And of course, you can also program doing all this programming uh, using the BioLoid, uh, but uh, it's just the way if you don't know how to program it, and these kind of things like comes with the program, so it's pretty neat. So you can kick. So you can have soccer, standing, and uh, what else can you do? Mm. Okay, you can have something like this. Push up. Let's 
We do and do this one. So one thing I notice about these condo servos is that they are very small, light, but and uh, and they're very powerful. And uh, it isn't, you know, there's a, there's no, uh, you know, there's very little movement if it's not supposed to. So you know, it's very good. It's a, you want to make it walk. It isn't like fall down, so on. Okay, we had that one before. Okay, another big jump. And now this is something you cannot do with a bottle of premium because the servo will not be strong enough. Right, and uh, to get up on the face. Okay, just pressing it. So the codes are very well written. Uh, to get up, you press the same key, but depending on how the um, the gyro, if it's falling back or forward, it will activate the different programs. So there you have it. This is the Condo KHR3, the latest version of the Condo robot. It's been around for two years, a bit more. Um, so um, it's very nice robot, it's very neat. It's priced between the Biola Premium and the Biola GP. And um, yeah, I'll, I like it a lot, actually. And uh, just before we go away, I just want to say that uh, in order to pro, you can also program the, uh, the program using the heart to heart program that you could download on the website but uh, in order to use that program you have to you need to connect this uh, dongle into the USB port you need to use window and you load the heart to heart program which is here and then you plug it into the, this port here there you go and now you could uh, Initially, you will have to install a driver. I've done that, so I don't need to do it again. And now uh, you could just uh, load sample code there and then play around. So let's say that uh, I've got this. So I've got something like uh, handstand, uh, send different things. So here's the starting point flag. And this little man there means it's a position. If you go in there, you should see, well, I did something wrong with the program. You should see a man figure and if all the joints and things and then you can twist it and so on and the arrow say like frame 1, frame 2, frame 3 and then condition and then end and so on so if I just press play it's going to activate that so the condo servers are very strong which is why I could do that Okay, so there you go. Uh, so this is the Condo KHR3 and this is the Heart to Heart 4 program. So thank you all for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>